The hum of a sewing machine is a sweet sound for this crowd. For Sally Dodge, it took one weekend quilt making session. And I was addicted. And she loves how it feels to give them as gifts. It's kind of like comfort, comfort food without the calories. <laughs> An afternoon of quilting at Calico Country in Carbondale is a lot of fun for these ladies, but the project they're working on now has some serious meaning. It was inspired by owner Chuck Clark's two-year-old niece, Anna. Hi, Anna. Hi. Last September, she was diagnosed with a form of cancer known as T-cell lymphoma. It's very treatable, but it's a long regimen of treatment that they have to go through. Anna receives treatment at Cardinal Glennon Hospital in St. Louis, along with many other children, some of whom don't have family by their side. We thought maybe we could provide comfort by bringing quilts to the children. So far, 165 quilts have been sent. Anna hand delivered some of them herself, and now many more are in the works. Calico Country supplies the fabric, the batting, and the machines. All we need is volunteers to supply the labor. At least 50 people have come forward to help. It does take a village not only to raise a kid, but to also encourage a kid and to make them know that they are loved and that somebody's out there thinking of them. There's something about making a quilt and giving it to someone else that just makes you feel good. And those on the receiving end are grateful for the effort. Say thanks for the prayers. Making prayers. Say they're working. They're working. In Carbondale with this week's Unsung Heroes, Emily Eddington, News 3.